So, tell me, what is your spiritual battle? Did you win? Did you ask God to be on your side? Did you? Sometimes we inflict ourselves pain by our choices. Spiritual battles are there, but sometimes we inflict on pain. They say you're shooting yourself on the foot with your own gun because of your choice. Spiritual battles, yes, but sometimes we choose. In the previous video, I said sometimes we go to wrong places. We go to a place whereby people do wrong things, like they're drinking, or they are smoking, or they are doing violent stuff and all that. You go there, you're inflicting yourself pain, a spiritual battle inflicted on yourself. Yes, you go and look for, you go on the computer, let's say, because you have to take your hand and click something you're thinking let me click to look at this naked man spiritual battle what's your choice let me click at this to look at this naked woman spiritual battle yes or maybe you go to buy magazines which show bad things like bad you know, you know what I mean by bad things which are not healthy for your mind things which are not spiritual they are there to bring you down those things you will not be a morally right person because you have chose the wrong place and the wrong things spiritual battles you're losing it because you're not praying yes you go out with wrong friends instead of you influencing them they're influencing you Yes, like uh, the disciple of Jesus Christ. They said, why are these people healing in the name of Jesus? And there was a brother as well, brother and brother, James and, and John. He said, call fire to burn these people. Two brothers are agreeing on the wrong thing. Jesus Christ said, no, then you don't know what I'm after. I am there not to kill. I'm there to love, I'm there to protect. I am a child of God. Yes? I'll read to you um, Matthew 26. Matthew 26 is one of the quite interesting books because it talks about Jesus, and I love to talk about Jesus myself, because he's my redeemer and my savior. Matthew 26 verse 44, what did Jesus do? when he was faced with the spiritual battle. Verse 44 says, And he left them and went away again and prayed the third time, saying the same words. Jesus Christ, when he was faced with the spiritual battle, he went to pray. He didn't go one or two. He went three times. He says, Father, if it possible, may this pass this, this cup pass away from me and the disciples they were sleeping they were not strong the spiritual battle they were losing it because they were sleeping but Jesus Christ he stood he, he knew this spiritual battle have to win it uh, in verse 51 of the same uh, Matthew 26 he says here now this is what one person did and behold one of them that's one of the disciples of Jesus Christ which were with Jesus stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of the high priests and smote of his ear so when it happened the disciple he did not understand whether this was a spiritual battle or is a physical battle he mis mis misunderstood it so he thought oh we're in a battle now let me take my sword and he cut the servant's ear just quite says no I'm not fighting physical battles here I'm fighting spiritual battles 
Sometimes we misunderstand. Sometimes somebody's talking to you, he wants to quarrel with you. And you say, yeah, I'll quarrel with you. I am what, 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 and you start to fight. You don't understand that it's a spiritual battle. Don't answer, don't reply. Then there will be peace. But because they don't understand, then you take your sword, and then there will be even bigger battles. So you've lost it. So spiritual battles are there. You must ask God, give me the two. Give me the words. Let me pray. Spiritual battles. That's why I asked my sister, my little sister, say, Sister, help me to pray my son is not home. My sister prayed and my son came back home. And I, you know what? I'm still asking my sister. Of course, I, I already thanked her, but I know she still prays for my son to come back to church. Yes! I'm still praying. I still pray. And my sister, I think she still prays. He came back home. Thank you, my sister, and thank you, God. But this time, I want my son to come back to church. He must leave his old company and do the right things. Spiritual battles. Have you got your spiritual battles? Did you win? Have you got spiritual battles whereby you write them down and then you cancel them one by one after you win? One by one after you win. Sometimes, as I said, spiritual battles are right in your house. Sometimes at your workplace. Sometimes in your church. Spiritual battles because you're fighting. You want a position. You want that, you want that. And sometimes we go on to make wrong choices, as I said. We're watching the wrong things, we're reading the wrong things. When we watch the wrong things or read the wrong things, we don't have even time for the Bible. We don't even have time for God. We don't even have time to, to kneel down. We're tired because we've been watching TV the whole night. There's nothing wrong with TV. TV is nice. Good programs, education and all that. But you've been watching the whole night. Spiritual butters. What is your spiritual butter? Do you have time for your family? Of course. We must be there. We mustn't be like that mother who actually m made uh, John the Baptist to die because she tricked she tricked the king. The mother went around and said something, asked for the head of John the Baptist, was your trickery. Don't be a type of pe people whereby, like Samson, his wife, tell me, tell me where your power is coming from. Of course, women do that. They're very good at that. Nothing wrong with women. Women are nice people. But sometimes they go around that's wrong. Sometimes not just women, men as well. They go on to look at the wrong pictures, looking at pornography. You know what I mean, I'm saying. Pornography is man and woman having sex on video, probably. Maybe. Maybe seeing them live in a club or something like that. Wrong choices. Spiritual battle. What's your spiritual battle? Did you win? Yes, be like Jesus. He said, he ugly said, man shall not live by bread alone. When he was told to turn a stone into bread. Man shall live by every word which comes out of the mouth of God. Man shall live. So it's the same with you. How will you win your spiritual partners? is by depending on God, depending on Jesus. Because the spiritual battles will be there. They are always there. Because we are not fighting against our flesh and blood. As, as, as I said in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, it says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, 
of course, against the spiritual wickedness in high places. That's where the spiritual battles are. Did you win? Yes, let's win. One way to win is to ask God. God, be on my side so that I can win the spiritual battles. Then, just like me, you wrote them down, you're going to cancel them one by one. Winning my spiritual battles. And God, when he wins, he wins. He doesn't go back. No. That's why it's God. And you will be like him. Because you are asking him. And he will give you the power to do it. Winning spiritual battles. So God bless you. And have a word for the devil. The word for the devil. You want me to give it to you? When he comes to you. One word. One verse. Matthew 4. Verse 4. I'll read it to you. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Yes, that's how you win your spiritual battles. You win your spiritual battles. Depend on God. God bless.